Uh, I'll be honest with you guys. I feel like trash. I don't know how long we'll stream today, but I wanted to stream after missing, after having to postpone yesterday, but I haven't gotten any better in terms of my exhaustion. Although this exhaustion is probably because I slept too long. Got home at like eight yesterday, went to sleep. I was t really tired. Woke up at 11.30. Uh, did some, played a little bit of Genshin, um, did some editing, then at around 4.30 my body was like, time for you to go back to sleep, so I'm like, alright. Went to sleep till about 8, woke up, my wife was doing something, I think I up. uh, went down, took an allergy, because I was my nose was feeling congested. Even though I had taken one well, not 24 hours earlier. Let's see. Let's see. Yay! Dean Suarez, welcome back to the student body, as well as Chaos Lord. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are news, but. Um, I appreciated it, whether you guys are here or not. So yeah, I went back to sleep at 8, and then I still slept until 4.30. So, from 8 until 4.30, what's that? About 20 hours? I slept for about 15 and a half of those hours. And I've still just been, like, exhausted since I woke up. I'm drinking all of one of these, which, for those that have been around this channel for a while, you know that one of these gets me through an, usually gets me through an entire Final Fantasy VII speedrun. And it's, it, it, feeling better than I was earlier, but I'm still tired. Like, I could still, it's like I'm fighting the tiredness. I took a Sudafed, too, just in case it's, like, sinuses that are clogged. Both of those things should have me, like, bouncing off the walls. Whatever's happening, my body's just not having it. Not having it. Oh, I thought music would start playing instead. Edgeworth would like to enter monologue in silence. Oh, I think I gave you guys credits for the... What are we at for likes? Maybe it doesn't matter. Hey, I'm dyslexic too. Just mildly so, though. You guys probably noticed the amount of times I switch words in my sentences. Yeah, Lauren has been crying for days now. Yeah, it's what's annoying. Like, the body's like, all right, you need to sleep. So I'm like, okay. And I just let it sleep as long as it needs to sleep. And then I wakes up and they're like, ah, you probably slept too long. And I'm like, yeah, I feel like garbage. And like, oh, so what's the answer? You know what the answer is? More sleep. And I'm like, no, that doesn't sound right. Doesn't sound right. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 15. Okay, so I gave it for 15, and then here's for 10. So we are all caught up on creds. That was something I think I, I think I was able to avoid, unlike my sister. I think I got the dyslexia. She got the ADHD.
Hey, Stone family. Thanks for stopping by. Much appreciated. Hope you have a good day at work. I hope so. What I... Okay, what I really hope is not the case... I'm scheduled for my second vaccine tomorrow. What I really hope isn't the case is that I'm, like, actually sick with something. I don't feel... Like, I have my allergies, but that doesn't feel any different from every day. Uh, so there's nothing really unusual other than the... Uh, heightened fatigue but i'm really hoping that i'm not really sick and then i go in tomorrow and my temp's at like 100.6 or something and then they're like oh, we can't give you the shot now you gotta you you might have you might you're you know you're probably sick or whatever and then and then what if i can't get my vaccine then do i have to reschedule getting the first vaccine because i would be furious furious if I had to do that. So hopefully I'm not sick and I'm just tired because I'm tired. I also hope I'm not depressed. Normally I'm pretty good at knowing when I'm depressed, but that can happen sometimes, right? Where you don't even realize it and you just are. But I don't have that overwhelming sense of self self uh, loathing that normally accompanies my depression oh it's just the minimum gap okay that would be fantastic i did get the pfizer but i'm assuming it's the same as the moderna in terms of the the period in between well that's good to know okay that makes me feel a little bit better. If it's if I do have depression, it's not YouTube. <laughs> I'd have to sue the concept of law in general. <laughs> yeah, how's everybody doing? Sorry if I haven't individually acknowledged everybody. I'm just trying to get myself focused but i hope you're all doing an ex doing excellent this evening or day for my international peeps east before youtube i agree <laughs> I know what you meant, Beth. I appreciate it. But if you did make... It, oh, there it is. There it is right there. If you did make homemade Heath bars for your snacks, I would take one. I would take one. So you can send it on over to me. Toffee will get me going. Elvis with coursework. Hopefully that lightens up. Man, we're all tired. I mean, that, that's, that's the real interesting thing, though. Like, I hadn't thought about it until, like, later today, like, the extreme fatigue. Because everyone else that I've been around has ex been experiencing the same type of tiredness. So I, at first I was just thinking, like, oh, okay, so I'm pretty normal. And now I'm like, why am I still tired? Why is everyone else still tired? This is weird. All right. She's crying still, so let's uh, try to get her to stop crying. When somebody says they make a bunch of different stuff, what I ask for then is, what is your specialty? Because I would be very interested in trying whatever it is that you think that you're the best at. <sighs> That'd be Twain D. Twain Depressed. She is going to dehydrate herself. <laughs> uh. 
If I can't get permission to investigate the crime scene, then the truth will be lost. Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Okay. You could just have said period there too and be like, okay. We're holding. Mr. Edgeworth, what are you doing spacing out? Have you forgotten? There's only one thing you should do at a time like this. And what is that? When the people are in a bind, the hero of justice appears to save the day. Look, you just leave it to me. For I am Kay Faraday, the second of the great Yatakarasu. And I thought you were a thief, not a hero. The Yatakarasu is noble and is always a thief of justice. That's, of course. If we have enough information, I can recreate the inside of the haunted house with this. Plus, if we then factor in everyone else, everyone's testimony, you can recreate exactly what happened when I dropped off the ransom money. We may be able to figure out, figure some new information through this. It's worth a try. Agent Lang. Uh, so you want to use a little toy? Be my guest. Okay, hang on. You're all about to witness the true power of a real modern-day Robin Hood. Detective Gumshoe. Is there a copy of the Haunted House's blueprint among the police reference documents? Yes, sir. We got it, just in case we needed it for the kidnapping case. All right, I'll put the haunted house, I'll input the haunted house data then. Chaos Emerald. Oh, what is this? Where are we? Where are we? It's, it's like we're inside the haunted house. No, that's, that was lame. It's like we're inside the haunted house. Even if we can inspect the real location itself, the path to the truth slumbers here. Oh. Good thing that the so the sound just happened, just kicked in. Actually, I think it might have kicked in when K started talking. Desktop audio was muted. It must have been from uh, Friday. The path, the, the path to the truth slumbers here. If I can successfully navigate my way using logic, I will ultimately arrive at the truth. Now then, I believe I'm ready to investigate the crime scene. Okay, what should I recreate first? I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe I haven't, maybe I haven't. But I'm gonna make you do all the hard work. Very well. I'd like to inspect the moment in which I was ambushed by my abductor. Two of them were definitely in this place at that time. If I can verify that, it may provide me with a new lead. I just come out into the hallway after leaving the money inside the dining room. At that time, I saw a badger slumped over on the floor at the end of the hall. How was a badger doing all the way down there? I also thought it was strange. However, I thought that maybe it was simply a mannequin that was set there for atmosphere. That's excellent atmosphere. Do you know which badger it was? No, it was too dark to tell. All I saw was the silhouette. In that case, I guess I'll just program a badger silhouette in for now. Programming complete. There I started walking toward the exit. And that's where you were struck from behind, right? Yes. But that's odd. The hallway is a dead end. Where'd your assailant come from? There's only one location I can think of. I believe my assailant was lying in wait here. Take that! that doll I saw wasn't a, really a doll. It was, in fact, a costumed kidnapper. Oh, so he used the costume as the perfect camouflage to blend in with the rest of the house. 
Precisely. He waited until I had made the drop-off and was about to leave. Then, just as he saw me take a step towards the exit, he stood and launched his attack. I can think of no better hiding place than this. Hey, not bad. I'm beginning to think I should steal this tactic for myself. Don't use it to do anything criminal, okay? Well, Lance, what, what are you asking me for? As one of the kidnappers, I figure I should give you the chance to confess first. What's one of the kidnappers that I don't know what I mean? Thank you to Acme Studios for the raid. Hello, Terra. Uh, oh, you know what's really fun? Okay. Uh, N. Ralter, Robin Phoenix, Acme Studios. Thank you for the raid. What were you guys playing tonight over at Acme? You guys, make sure to check them out. There's the link to the channel. Love for throwing the radar our way. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, I know why all these are starting to come in. So for those that were not around, it was one year ago, or almost a year ago. It was eleven months that. No, I think it was 11 months, because this would be the 12 months, 12th month starting now. I shaved, I didn't shave, but I cut my own hair on stream, because it had grown quite a bit of length since lockdown had started. And I said, if we get to 25 members on that day, I think we started off at like 18 or something like that. Then I would cut my hair on straight. The Infernal Disdain, thank you for becoming a member. I'm not sure if that one's associated. I think that might be a new one. No, I don't think it has, because otherwise 34 would have changed. Anyways, thank you, Infernal Disdain. Oh no, yeah, it has to be new, because it doesn't say blank members in, uh, blank months in a row. Yeah, in that case, thank you, Infernal Disdain, for becoming the newest member of the student body. Enjoy those emotes. Much appreciated. It was that long ago. It really was, because it was, uh... Was that a Justice for All stream? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it was that long ago, does it? Up to 42 days after the first dose. But I think they scheduled me almost exactly at three weeks. So... I have like another three weeks, I guess. Yeah, we'll see. Hope again, as long as my my temperature, I don't feel hot or anything. It's just the exhaustion and then the sinus congestion. But hopefully that's not something I have to worry about. You guys were playing Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Well, that's cool. I hope you had an excellent stream. <laughs> I 
Well, I appreciate it. Much appreciated. <laughs> you didn't have to, but I, 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 uh, I really do appreciate the the extra the extra push there. <laughs> yeah, my uh, because I'm getting it through like my actual healthcare provider, so they they were just able to schedule it like automatically through my profile and stuff, which. On one hand, I was like, well, that'd be shit if I had anything I had to do. But on another hand, three weeks is more than enough time to move anything that I need to move, except, like, a trial. But I don't have to worry about that, because I'm not in the middle of any litigation at the moment. So, nothing like that to worry about. I did come up to the haunted house, but I never set foot inside. I left Oliver in charge of picking up the ransom money. You didn't set foot inside. Is he telling the truth or is this another lie? I want to see your psycho locks! Alright, then you're claiming that it was Mr. Deacon who assaulted me? Yes, I'm sure it was him. Okay, I'm putting the new information now. Mr. Deacon was the bad badger, right? The bad badger has a gun attached to its right hand. Yeah. I have to change it so the weapon is in his left hand. Now to verify the facts of the re this recreation. A new PC? Oh, that's gotta be like a new new car smell, new new PC smell. Always feels good. <laughs> Didn't have symptoms for the first dose. Uh, I had I had the stiffness, but like doesn't mean I'm gonna have anything for the second one. Cause like my grandparents, for example, they're, they're older. They had they had those similar symptoms for the first uh, dose, but then nothing for the second dose. Whereas my wife, <sighs> like got super chills and fatigue from the second one. I remember glancing over and seeing this figure sitting here as I left the dining room. So I guess I got it spot on when I put it, when I put it, oh. So I guess I got it spot on when I put it here in my recreation. I didn't take a good look, but I'm sure there was a badger here. Oh my god, you just reminded me. I had a nightmare last night. That my brand new monitor, like, got shattered or something. And I was like... <sighs> now, for context, really shouldn't be a nightmare. Because even if it did happen, like, yeah, it suck. I spent 200 bucks on it, but... I could always bring back the other monitor I was using because I currently am using a three monitor setup for my workstation. Three. Do you need three monitors for a workstation? Absolutely not. But I'm doing it. Actually, you know, maybe, no, well, because it'd be kind of hard to see. I was thinking maybe it'd be better to have the third monitor above, and that's where I'd put chat. Uh, or like the OBS, um, just the OBS window, so that I hope that's always visible just in case something weird's happening. Which, by the way, expect your standard drop. I don't think I've gotten that fully taken care of yet. So, two hours and four ish minutes. Quiver in fear. 
Because like now what I have is I have gameplay here, and on this monitor I have first I got the I got the webcam on top, and then I have the two chatbot windows, the notification window, and then the chat window, and but then the OBS window covers the two chatbot windows. So having the third monitor, I could put it completely on its own in its own spot, so I, it doesn't have to distract from the chatbot windows. like it's been jammed, sir. <laughs> Pretty sure, yeah, my, my video card has, I think, one HDMI and three display ports. It also, I think, has a, a VGA and a, um, what's the other one? That, that's semi-common. Which I'd probably have to use that one because the I don't think the monitor that I would be able to use... Not, I don't think any of the monitors down, downstairs uh, in my office have display ports. Although I could double check that. I don't think any of them are new enough to have display ports. No, I haven't, because Nick told me, uh, I, I can't remember, was this about a week, week and a half ago? Uh, I think it was at a point where he thought you might be getting ahead of me. So he was like, yeah, uh, just in case you had planned on lurking, you probably won't want to do it yet, um, just because they might end up getting ahead of you. And I was like, oh, okay, so I'll avoid lurking. Five. But yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's just the last few streams, have been, there's been like <sighs> stuff that's derailed me. I've ended up. Actually, I think we got some pretty good progress last time, but. Just like the second half of this playthrough so far, I've just felt like. I haven't been able to shake this, like. Spring is always the worst time of the year for me because my face just always feels like something's constantly going like this. And then pushing me like this at the same time. It sucks. I imagine this is how you how he snuck up on you. That gadget of yours can even replicate people's movements? Well, it's used to plan heist, so of course it's got to be able to simulate the police. It's definitely well made. Perhaps too well made. And I should confiscate it after the investigation. Yeah, she helps me and then I fuck her over. Ha 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 ha! That's the Edgeworth way. You take a look around, it almost feels like a house of mirrors. Indeed, who has ever heard of this many mirrors inside of a haunted house before? Well, at least we know this is the real crime scene thanks to these mirror shards. Hey, wait! These shards! There's something different about them. Oh? The ones we found earlier are thicker than the shards from these mirrors on this wall. And look! There's some sort of design on the back, too. The pieces from that costume are certainly different from the other mirrors. What does this mean? Could it be that our pieces are not pieces of these mirrors?
You didn't recreate the weapon. Well, I can't exactly recreate something I know nothing about. So tell me, what were you hit with? The attack came from behind, so I have no idea. But I doubt it was someone's bare hands. Um, okay, then where were you hit? To lead up to final, so I haven't been outside in a week. I remember that. Although, um, I always, uh, I didn't live on campus for law school because you're older at that point. You're like, you don't want to fucking live on campus. And I am from, you know, I was from the area, so I didn't have to, like, go super far. Uh, but I always used to park relatively far away on purpose. One, because I always knew that place would have a spot open. Whereas the garage at the law school, you'd have to get there pretty early to like get a spot because they fill up pretty fast. Um, so I, I went to this other place because I always knew there'd be a spot and it gave me a nice little walk, a brisk walk right before class, which kind of got me, you know, that was nice. So it was all, I was always getting something, even if I was like stuck in school for hours and hours and hours. I'd get, you know, some some good fresh air before and some fresh air after. I miss those walks. It snowed here pretty wildly last week, but it was like... It only lasted for like that day and it was like all melted by the next day. But it, it was very strange how like the pattern. I guess the other problem is that if you guys are doing school virtual, you're just kind of fucked, right? Unless you decide to go study outside, but you can't really do that if, out, if it's cold outside. Wait, you mean they were giving away that PC without having it in their possession yet? That's kind of, that's kind of sketch. Unless they sit like, okay, okay. There is, there is a good reason why you wouldn't have it in your possession. For example, we are going to be giving away a Switch Lite in the very near future. We don't have it in our possession because we would like to allow the winner to choose from any version of the Switch Lights, assuming that they're, you know, 200 bucks or, or less. Uh, and to give them the options, then we can't have one in our possession already, right? So unless they were giving you options for like aesthetics in some way, then that would make sense. But otherwise they should have had it in their possession before being like, hey, you win this. Bullet hell? That'd be cool. That'd be funny if it looked better than him, and it's <laughs> better than how he really looks, and it, like, reveals that she has a huge crush on him. hit on the right side of my head, just above my temple. There was a bit of blood, but it wasn't anything serious. Ouch, sounds painful. Why are you smirking like that when you say it? It's just your imagination. Now let's see. I wonder if there's anything in the hallway that could have been used as a weapon. I'm looking for something that the culprit could have used to hit you with. I have it. There was indeed one such object lying here in this hallway. Prop sword. Are you talking about this thing here? Yes, although we did find it at the kidnapper's hideout. Wait, yes, it's possible that the culprit took it with him after using it on me. You leave no evidence behind, right? Correct. It may be worth the more thorough examination yet. 
Okay, so what test do you want to run on this sword? Colbert was wearing a costume at the time, so a fingerprint analysis is useless. Let's run an aluminol test. It's possible that some of my blood found its way onto this. Agent Lang, may I, ha may I ask for your cooperation in this matter? <laughs> like I have a choice. Gina, call the lab boys. Understood. To me, it feels dirty doing a luminol test without Emma. I mean, with her A Link to the Past sprite, she literally becomes a luminol bottle. Because that's, you think luminol, you think Emma Sky, right? Well, it's understandable that there are shortages, but that doesn't mean it's understandable that they went about it that way. I think if you're giving something away and there's no going to be like no aesthetic choice involved, you should already have it before, you know, holding it in the first place. Because what if they never get it? How long do you have to wait before you get something? Are they going to replace it at some point with something else because it's just not being, um, you know, becoming available? All those things become issues when there's a shortage and you don't have it in your possession already. Just sucks that you have to wait. No, 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 no. The uh, the sword broke when Lance tried to use it to block the door, and they had to knock the uh, kick the door in in order to get get access to the hideout. That's what broke it. Eight plus we. Ugh. We'll see. Hopefully, it's no more than eight to twelve weeks. Otherwise, that would be shit. And I, I believe me, I know about the shortages. Remember when my GPU just fucked out on me? And I was like, God damn, I have to buy this fucking 68 or 50 AMD Radeon XT 5600, uh, no, RX 5600 XT, was that it? Whatever, yeah. For like $280 on sale, it should give me a stopgap graphic card because I really want like a 3070 at some point. Blah, 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 blah. Do you know the cheapest you can get that graphics card on Amazon for now? $950. And I was sitting there bitching about having to pay for a stopgap GPU. There are things that you do sometimes that just make you want to slap yourself. Like, man, you sounded like a little ungrateful bitch. Just the fact that it was available, you should have thanked all that is divine in the universe. And it's ranked number nine on customer satisfaction benchmark, so it's good value. Yo, it's a like... <laughs> Saw the head laying on the floor. <laughs> yeah, so I got this before the before my second dose. We'll see. We'll see what happens after that. I might not ever be able to stream again. That would suck. Not because of the tail. I'd still stream with the tail. Just I'd have to get like a special type of chair, right? Plus, it's a tail that can wrap around like a Saiyan tail. Actually, that would probably do wonders for the channel. Come watch the lawyer with the Saiyan tail. The real, real lawyer with real Saiyan tail plays Ace Attorney. Dragon Ball fan game. <laughs> Except for a dab on the left side. 
it would appear that the blade is spotless. Except for that dab on the side. <laughs> so it must have been the left side of the prop sword that hit you then, right? Okay, I'll the re uh, update the recreation with this new piece of info. More efficiently? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Man, I'd be quite the PC gamer. How does he possibly have movement like that? Well, I have extra limbs that allow me to. Monster tastes far inferior to Bang, but I didn't want to put 300 <laughs> milligrams of caffeine into my system. That would just make me feel like... <sighs> oh, here we go. Paisano, are you uh up the count? If only, Mike. Man, now you guys are getting me too excited for growing extra stuff from this vaccine that isn't going to happen. I'm gonna say some shit like that to the person that gives it to me tomorrow too, like, so, what are the chances I grow a tail? Because I could really go for a tail right now. My career could really use it. You've had two bangs today and you took a nap? Wow. See guys, everybody's tired. Everybody, everybody's just tired. All old people right now are tired. Middle-aged individuals. I don't know what people see as the start of middle age though. Well, I mean, it would help my law career too much faster I could type shit? If I had three limbs? Words per minute go through the roof. And in the next instant, this badger will swing his left arm complete with weapon in hand. Yes, to club me with the left side of the prop sword. Shall I recreate the moment of impact? I want to see the pained expression on your face. It's just fine the way it is. Hmm? Wait, maybe not. Is it just my imagination or is something not quite right? Oh shit, hold on. I forgot I was almost dead. Finally, I found a clear contradiction of facts about this sword. Except for a bit on the left side, this prop sword is absolutely spotless. However, if the culprit had used his left hand, the blood would be on the opposite side. The opposite side, huh? The culprit held the sword in his left hand, then the sword's right side would hit. I see, but the blood was on the left side of the sword, right? 
Which means that he used his right hand to hit you. Exactly. This prop sword has a large hand guard attached to the hilt. It would be impossible to hold it with two hands while wearing a costume with such big hands. Therefore, it couldn't if it couldn't be the left hand or both hands, it must have been the right. I'll change the data to reflect the a right-handed swing. Not yet, Kay. There's no sense in changing anything yet. If you change the parameters to the right hand, it only create a new contradiction. Changing the prop sword in the culprit's hand would conflict with what? Uh, which one do I show? This one, right? Take that! The Bam Badger already holds a gun in his right hand, so he can't hold the sword in addition. Hey, that's right! Then what now? If it wasn't in his left or his right hand, means that the one who struck me could not have been the bad badger. Are you paying attention, Lance? Urgh. Mr. Deacon could not have been the one who struck me, which leaves only you as our primary suspect. <laughs> Fine, it was me. I hit you. Here is that you lied to me yet again. But see how quickly they catch up to you, Lance? Wait, is it Lance left-handed? Ah, yes, but that's what makes this deception all the more interesting. He used his right hand to make it look like Mr. Deacon had been the one to strike me. Where you see, firing a gun with one's non-dominant hand is difficult. But that level of dexterity isn't required to swing a prop sword. Ugh! Okay, please input this new data. The one who hit me from behind was Lance. Or should I say the Proto Badger? You got it! Here I go! Oh! Doom! Death! We're all going to die! No! No! <laughs> the devil's going to kill me! Now! We have a faithful recreation of the situation around the attack on me. All right, we have all we have to do is examine this new recreation and <laughs> look, look at how funny I find this. Look at how my entire body is is vibrating. Look how my shoulders are going up and down. <laughs> What exactly is so funny, Agent Lang? That amusing little gadget sure packs a punch, right, Sheena? Yes, it was all I could do to hold my laughter in. Hey, don't make fun of little thief, you mean old werewolf! He and Mr. Edgeworth bring out the best in each other. You had your little fun, but now it's my turn. I've said quietly by listening. But the crude conclusions you two keep spewing that will whet this wolf's appetite. There's no guarantee that your toy will always show the real situation at any given time. All it displays is whatever information you put in there, right? Well, when you put it that way... Your suppositions are wrong. It's not your fault, so I'm going to let you in on this. There is a trick to this haunted house. And what may that be exactly? A trick beyond what your tiny imaginations can produce. Sheena! Here you are. Now then, what you missed, girly, is written right here in this pamphlet. Seven Wonders of the Haunted House, the Disappearing Badger? What is this? I'd say that's I'd say that someone around here is fond of theatrics. And as you can see, they sent a doll down at the end of this hallway for a purpose. How do you swing a baseball back backhand? Well, think about it. Let's say I'm right-handed and I'm batting like this. All you have to do is drop your hand and still swing like you would without the other hand holding it. You can do that. Same thing with left hand. Drop your left hand and swing through. In fact, there was a a story 
the other day that I saw about a kid who has one arm and hit like a walk-off single or something like that in his game, which was really cool. And I thought it was odd that he swung, like, like he used his, like I think he was, I think he was using his left arm here, and then so his he was missing a right hand, so it was kind of like this. He, he'd hold it up to kind of, you know, just get the general balance going. But then when he swung, it was just with his left arm. And I was like, that, no, that's interesting. If I only had one arm, wouldn't I then want to bat this way? Because then it, 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 I feel like you get more power hitting it that way. More control, just like, like that. But in that case, it appears the correct technique might be to backhand it if you can only choose one or the other. Basically, the blue badger you saw was just a stupid doll. How can this be? Guess that throws your whole theory about it being your attacker right out the window. But that can't be right. Maybe the culprit hid the doll somewhere. Then he laid down and pretended to be it instead. If the criminal couldn't even hide himself in the hallway, how could he hide a giant doll? get it now thanks to your presumptions. The logic started off weak and led you to the completely wrong conclusion. Ugh. Now get off your high horse. Mr. Edgeworth. Okay, I wonder if you can please input the new information. You don't know when to quit, do you? I can't quit, not until I declare, can declare that I found the truth. Agent Lang, for the additional information, you have my thanks. There you go again. We'll see if I care. Okay, I'm updating the recreation now. That looks really weird. Look at how it changes from the blue badger in the, to the, into the proto badger all of a sudden. The slumped over badger was just a doll. Where was my attacker hiding? Well, that's what we're gonna find out, right? Come on, so come on, Mr. Edgeworth, let's go. Yeah, sluts. This recreation can't be right, which means there must be a contradiction somewhere. where the proto badger shows up in our recreation yes now the question is where did he come from yeah but there's no place to hide in our current model must be an inconsistency somewhere No, Lang comes off as a fucking tool. Like, half the shit he says, it's like, no, that's actually not how you're supposed to go, go about your job. That's how an asshole would go about their job. Evidence, evidence. I arrested that person because I felt it in my gut. Yeah, I was gonna look at my logic next. I don't think there's anything new to, uh... Uh, nope, not yet. We need to... put something together with the mirror shards.
What? <laughs> yeah, that's, uh... of a set of armor are piled here. Why do you think they almost always have sets of armor inside, in the, inside haunted houses? I suppose this sort of interior design is meant to bring out a sense of the abnor abnormalcy. Why do all of your explanations have to be so hard to understand, Mr. Edgeworth? I'll try explaining it again, but this time that even a thief like me can get it. That may prove to be a most difficult task. This blue badger is just a doll for use in this haunted house. I bet the one who killed this blue badger was the bad badger, right? According to the Blue Badger Bible, it says that they are each other's worst enemy. All because of an ally of justice, uh, one's an ally of justice and the other's a vile criminal with a gun? Perhaps they were just destined to battle each other. Much like the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Oh god. Hello Chris, at Taco Bell. Kill it with fire indeed. Okay, uh... Anything else to find? Just gonna have to deduce, huh? that be? I mean, it's the same as on here, though. Maybe that doesn't mean anything? It's the same on here, though, too. Best to double tap. Zombie land will know. Hold on a second here. There's something wrong with this blue badger. Huh? Like what? The way the belt's on him is uh, is opposite of how it should be. Did you make a mistake? It can't be. I put the image da data exactly as it is in the pamphlet. Then why is the blue badger dressed up in reverse? 
because of the mirror. Hey, do you remember what you said earlier? What I said earlier about what? About how this building might as well have been a house of mirrors. House of mirrors? Oh! That would explain the reverse the reverse or mirror image. Yes, this blue badger might be nothing more than a reflected image of a real one. Then was the blue badger you saw just a reflection? When I looked down this hall, I thought it was perfectly straight. However, if there was a mirror... Oh, then it actually would form an L-shape, right? Precisely. I was deceived. The hallway was almost pitch black. And there was a beam in the way that obstructed my view of the other hallway. Wait, but why build this place like that? It sounds pretty pointless to me. Hey, this house is just another attraction at an amusement park. Created a mirror wall for a very specific purpose, one I can point out to you. This was the reason they built a mirror wall. Fuck, I don't know. He's disappearing. Take that. This is written in the pamphlet. The main draw of this attraction is the mystery of the disappearing badger. You mean they built the mirror for that trick alone? But you said you saw the badger, so it's definitely still there. That was true at the time. However, doing this allows someone to make the blue badger disappear in a flash. Remove a reflected image, simply move the mirror. First, the mirror was constructed so that it could be moved. Then beyond where the mirror was, an empty hallway had to be created. Oh, so when they wanted people to see the blue badger, they would open the mirror. And when they wanted to hide it, they simply had to close it again. This explains why the other side of these fragments have a design on them. Ah, and if the pattern is the same as the other walls in this hallway, then when the mirror is closed, it would blend in with the rest of the walls. This is the mirror trick that this, that this haunted house employs. And this also proves the existence of a hiding place for the culprit. Huh? How so? Think about it, Kay. There was a place that was outside of my field of vision. The culprit kept out of sight by hiding here. Oh, he'd be behind here. I'm dumb. I lose! God, that's so annoying. I did it too quick without thinking. Small brain. Whoops, that is not blue stacks. There we go. Where did it auto save? Take 
like that. A very large blind spot, one I could not see beyond, and it was here. If my assailant hit on the other side of the movable mirror, then you wouldn't be able to see him. You didn't even need to do anything to the Blue Badger doll. Exactly. All you had to do was wait for me on the other side of the mirror. Wait, hold on. I just thought of something. Yes? Well, shouldn't the mirror wall be broken right now in reality? We have a few shards of it. You can probably assume it is. Yes, it most definitely is broken. The question is, when was it broken? Since we found these inside the victim's costume, it would mean that the victim was there when the mirror was broken. Wait, that sound. That sound I heard was most definitely the sound of a mirror break. Okay, I'd like you to input some new information. Ah, don't stare at me like that! It's not what she said at all, but we're gonna keep it. Sorry, but I need you to recreate something for me. Sure, whatever you need. What? So what do you need, anyway? You could first recreate this hallway just before I enter the dining room. You got it! No, I was I was thinking about that before, um, but then I I was gonna say something and I fucked up, so I completely lost my train of thought. Thought, but if they had the blueprints, shouldn't they have already seen that there was like a a room off to the side and then be, been able to make that deduction? That seems very strange that they like specifically would bring up the blueprints and then not use them. Now this, I believe this is how it was right before I entered the dining room. Although at the time I thought it was but a single straight hallway. And then I went inside. It was around that time that I heard the sound of a mirror shattering. You heard what? Then? Yes, I believe it was then that the mirror was broken. Okay, so when you stepped outside in the hallway again, the mirror wall should no longer exist, Kay. Please recreate that. Got it. Hey, Tash. But it, if they're the police, you wouldn't think they would be getting some, like, misleading blueprints. How? Because that wouldn't be useful at all. If you're law enforcement, you probably have access to the real blueprints. Like, the actual complete blueprints. Unless there are no blueprints that actually exist of the completed house. That would be strange, too. Need to keep something like that somewhere, right? For reference? Wait, but with the mirror gone, the culprit lost his hiding spot. So where did he go in the proto-badger suit with mi So where did he go in the pr his proto-badger suit, Mr. Edgeworth? Huh, that's easy enough. The mirror gone, he simply hid himself in the branch hallway. Hmm, I think this about wraps it up. It's like we finally solved everything! No, not yet. An even larger contradiction has now reared its head. Huh? Perhaps you did not notice. But this recreation contains a very troubling inconsistency. Inconsistency between what I saw and this... Can you... What did he say? I didn't even see what he said. Oh, between what I saw and the, re the, re the recreation. Take that. Okay, took a 
Kay took a good look at the end of the hall. Oh, there's no blue badger there. Exactly, the blue badger that I saw in reality is not there. This is the final point on this long chain of logic, the last remaining contradiction. Let me get this straight. When you came out of the dining room, you saw a badger, right? And that is precisely where the final contradiction lies. Something that shouldn't exist was there before me. Who or what do you suppose it was? I believe this is the real identity of our mystery badger. Wait, what? Take that! The badger I saw in actuality was, in actuality, the dead victim's body. Uh! What? Agent Lang, the entirety of my complete logic is my final decisive piece of evidence. The murder happened in the hallway of the haunted house at the time of the drop-off, and you can consider the moment I heard the mirror breaking to be the real time of death for Mr. Deacon. No! Maybe it was due to their fighting, or perhaps it was the life-shattering bullet. But no matter what the cause, no matter what the cause was, the hallway mirror wall was broken. Don't you have heard a gunshot, though? Uh, you were in the house at the time, right? You're telling me that you missed the sound of the sound of a gunshot? There were a variety of sound effects playing at the time, all for theatrics, I assume. Are we buying this? I'm not buying this. This seems kind of weak. Hey, Freaker, how's it going? Have a good night, Beth. Thank you. I don't... I honestly don't remember him saying anything about all the sound effects earlier, but even... This is the thing. It doesn't matter. Even if that were established, do you know how loud a gunshot is? Compared to most anything else you hear? The effects of that house would have had to have been like eardrum busting basically to to overshadow a gunshot sound. Yeah, but and he, and he heard the and he heard the 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 mirror shatter, but not the gunshot? Gunshots are louder than mirror shattering. When he's making that face, we have to buy it. I mean, it is it is a good selling face. Oh yeah, exactly. You would think he'd be like more sensitive to what gunshots sound like. Hmm, <laughs> I got over all of that trauma. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not buying this. This, this seems really flimsy. The gunshot must have blended right in. Music does say he's right. I like this track a lot, by the way. If I still had my uh, Smash Brothers uh, nights going, this would be added to the uh, to the Smash Bros um, playlist.
not that I, not that that's like, this is like the only good track, but that, that specific playlist is for like hype, upbeat songs that you could like Smash Bros. do. Gumshoe's theme, for example, is good, but it's not. Better to play Smash Brothers too fast. Uh. Ay -ya. Now then, I'd like you to recall something for me. Who was it that was with the victim at the haunted house? Urgh. Who was the one who had the opportunity to rob the victim of his gun and use it on him? Mm! It was you, Lance Amano. Wow. I'm sorry. It's not, it's not like I had a choice. Oliver turned on me all of a sudden. He snapped and turned violent right after I hung up with you. He shoved me to the ground and straddled me. I fought back as hard as I could, grabbed his gun, and I shot him. The bullet must have went through his body and shattered the mirror. If I hadn't taken his gun and shot him first, I would have been the one you found. He's a hardened criminal. He escaped from jail. See, that's justified self-defense. My boy was only trying to protect himself. That remains to be seen and will have to be resolved in court. Agent Lang, I leave the rest to you. <laughs> As if you were the one in charge around here. Guys, arrest these two and get them out of my sight. Well, wait, I had nothing to do with the murder. The only person you should be arresting is Lance. Dad. Dad. What a douche. Sorry, but you're not slipping away that easily, Mr. Ernest Amano. You tamper with the evidence so you can cover up for your son. What a great dad you are willing to risk, risk it all, truly touching. <laughs> By the way, do you know why I'm really here? And how, and how could I possibly know the answer to such an asinine question? You warned me I came all this way across the sea just to see you, you know? You came to see me? What's that supposed to mean? I have a few things to ask you, Mr. Amano, about a case from ten years ago. A case from ten years ago? Oh, what's the name what's the name that you use here for that case? Gina! It's known as the KG8 incident. The KG8 incident? So you remember it. Good, then you'll recall the trigger in that case was the, the Amano group scandal. Specifically the charge of an internal smuggling ring. Smuggling? Where's that word again? At the time, the person that was arrested as the ringleader was Mr. Amano's very own secretary, Mr. Colin Dev Devere. Father! Even though you pushed the crime onto your then secretary, Mr. Devere, I always suspected that you were involved with the smuggling ring, Mr. Amano. Illegal evidence, bitch! <laughs> Mr. Devere was arrested in place of you, which is why when he broke out, you hit him from the police, right? You hit him in exchange for his silence on your little dirty secret. But now, 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 please calm down. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Pretend to be ignorant all you want. We're taking you down to the precinct anyways for a nice long chat. What the? Who the heck was that? What? Wait, what? I don't even remember what his voice is. Well, take him, I'll take him down to the precinct if you don't mind. And who the heck are you? What the fuck voice did I give him? Oh, 
Right. So uh, that's what I initially thought. I'm like, okay, this must take case. Bef this mu must take place before case one. But didn't Edgeworth not know who the hell he was? That's the weirder thing about it. I could have sworn Edgeworth's like, who the hell is this? Because <laughs> I thought he had to introduce himself to him again. And he clearly wouldn't know who he was. He does say when he first appears, aren't you that prosecutor? Okay. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Apparently this was the old metal. Well, that's true. He doesn't remember pain. So what the, f what voice did I give him? I'm Jack, Jack Portsman and I'm the professional. Wait, no. I'm Jack Portsman and I'm the prosecutor in charge of this case. No, oh, Jock, thank goodness you're here. Don't jerk me around. This is an Interpol case, so keep your paws off my suspect. Sorry, but I can't comply. I've got the backing of the prosecutor's office. See, in this country, we prosecutors work with the police to bring cases to court. So if you could please cooperate with me here, that'd be great. Now, how about a handshake to seal the deal? Sorry, but I hate prosecutors, the whole lot of you. Guys, arrest the two suspects. Sir! Oh, I almost forgot. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, is it? I'd like to thank you. Thank me? Yeah, for working so hard to fulfill my goal. Hey, is that any way to thank someone? And what the heck is that supposed to mean? You were so relentless with Lance that you forced Ernest to tamper with the evidence. Thanks to that, I finally had legitimate reason to arrest him. So how does it feel to bite the hand that feeds you? The hand that feeds me? I'm not sure I follow. Yeah, it's no use pretending with me. You're the one, right? You're the corrupt prosecutor that's working for Mr. Amano in the smuggling ring, right? No, I would never do such a thing. Tch, what the heck? Our intel's never wrong. Your prosecutor's office is definitely someone working with the ring. Ah, so Agent Lang suspected my relation to Mr. Amano. That must be the real reason behind his antagonistic attitude. On top of that, your mentor was Manfred Von Karma, right? There were nonstop rumors flying around about forged evidence with that guy. You're not twisting the truth behind those closed courtroom doors, too, are you? The courtroom is a place where the truth is revealed. Ha 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 ha! Well, don't worry, it's not only you, the whole lot of you can't be trusted. Prosecutor never lost in 40 years, every defendant must be found guilty. Fueled by those ideas, is it any wonder that courts produce nothing but falsities and lies? It would seem that his disdain extends beyond just me. Prosecutors, the courts, why is this man so angry with us all? Rest assured, the next time we meet, I won't be so forgiven. can't what do you mean you, you can't do anything to us for being a prosecutor not legally right? and if, if, if you hadn't gone about things the way that you did you wouldn't have gotten the result that you got. None, none about nothing about his threat makes any type of sense don't you forget it. Please wait. Agent Sheena. Why does Agent Lang hate all prosecutors so? Lang is the head of the long-honored House of Lang in Changfa. The heads of all police-related divisions in that country were of Lang blood. Where? What do you mean by that? Aren't they still? They were revered. They were revered, but that was long ago, so they, they don't hold that sort of sway anymore. And it was all because of the courts. 
Sounds like that's a them problem. How can that be? A prosecutor once withheld and tampered with the evidence one of the Lang detectives found. That evidence's purity was tarnished and cost the Lang family its honor and trust. But not all prosecutors are like that. Even so, Lang will never respect the court again or any prosecutor. Why don't he just do that to any race that's wronged him, too? Any gender. Any anything. One person fucked it up. They must all be terrible. Fuck you. That's a really bullshit motive. Though not unrealistic. I will say that is not unrealistic. Even so, Lang will never respect the court again, or any prosecutor. So Lang, Agent Lang is a man that hates all courts and is unwilling to forgive prosecutors. Man, what a piece of work that guy is. Come on, Jim, we'd better catch up. Yeah. You've still got to deliver that thing to the old man, after all. Detective Gumshoe, I believe it's time we wrapped up and headed home ourselves. Yeah, are you going home too, Mr. Edgeworth? No, I've got nothing. I've done nothing but be entangled in one mess after another since my return. It's all right with you. Can you drop me off at my office? No problem, sir. Um, excuse me. Yes, what is it? Um, ah, uh, that is, thank you very much. Oh, it's okay. No need to thank me, pal. Just doing my job as a detective. I guess I was fooled pretty hard, pretty badly by Lance. These ring pops really tasty, though. Oh, cruel fate! What a woman! To do, what's a woman to do when she's been hurt by the one she loves? Cut off her hair, apparently. And to think I never realized my father was right there. I never said anything to him. I knew it. I'm, I'm a failure. Ah, there she goes again, talking to herself. Grin face. XD. Let's make him sound like a lazy cut. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Like, it's ridiculous and it makes him very unlikable, but also not unrealistic. <laughs> this pops. I wonder if you know why your father participated in the kidnapping? No, I have no idea. Your father died while he was trying to stop Lance, which means that from the beginning he had no interest in the staged self-abduction. Wait, then why did he... I believe it was because of your presence, Miss Pops. Me? Lance realized that the two of you were related, which is why he used you as a hostage to coerce Mr. Devere to cooperate. Father! As a felon, he could not tell you of his real relation to you. However, as the Amano family butler, at the very least, he was able to watch over you. It was all he could do. That was the shape of his overflowing love for you. It's... Being a felon doesn't mean you can't tell somebody that you're their father. That's dumb. When they're an escaped felon, that's a little different. Because you don't want them to know who you are just so that they can't get in trouble. Hmm? Go on, speak your mind. Uh, uh, um, that is... Thank you very much. You're welcome, although there is no need to thank me. Ah, no, Lauren, stop. I mean, this man's so much older than you. Um, excuse me? I'm like 26 in this, aren't I? He looks like you've completely stolen her away, Mr. Edgeworth. Way to go, sir! Your techniques are... Your technique is way beyond the level of a great thief. What are you going on about now? Wow, your deduction skills may... Your deducing skills may be sound, but you have no street smarts. That's Mr. Edgeworth for you. Ha 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 Yeah, I mean, he still hasn't figured out who I am at all. If you haven't remembered it in all this time, I guess I'm just gonna have to say it. This isn't the first time we've met, you know. What do you mean, pal? Mr. Edgeworth? How do you know this girl? Hm. Looks like you totally forgot me too, Gummy. Gummy. Here, maybe this will jog your memories. 
I promised I'd return this to you one day, remember? That's... A single piece of cloth took me back far into my past. That fateful day seven years ago, when I first met the then-child K. And Detective Gumshoe. That's true. Old man! Like, I'm, I'm 24, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I like his design. He, he's, a, he's a nice character. It's just, his motivations are really stupid. And just some of the shit that he says are a is absolutely asinine. Like, there's no good reasoning behind it other than because. Yeah, I don't know why she still has those scissors. It reminds me of, uh, <laughs> does she ever get arrested? It reminds me of Sideshow Bob where he's like... He rings the election, and he, like, admits to it in court, and he's like, now, if you excuse me, I have a city to run. And then they arrest him, and he's like, oh, yes, that's right, all those things I did. <laughs> like, oh, shit, yeah, that's right, I was, I was involved in a crime. I completely forgot. I call it a case because that's how I refer to incidents like this. They generally have a case attached to them. Even though the story refers to it if, as an episode, I would call it case too because that's what it is in practicality. I want to rank this alongside the other case threes. Ooh, hello. $7 from Infernal Disdain. Seven years ago? What sorcery is this? How in the world would anyone find out something happened seven years ago in an Ace Attorney game? That Magic 7. Thank you for the $7. Infernal Disdain. Go along with the magic of the seven years of Ace Attorney. Um, you know, okay. Hold on. Let me, let me refill my water and get a little sody. And then I will give you my thoughts on this case and in relation to the other case three.
Oh. Well, that Sudafed is definitely kicking in, which is good. Just sucks because I wish it wouldn't happen on stream time, but there was really no other choice. Well, there was another choice. It was be miserable. More miserable. Um, okay, so this case, uh, compared to the other case threes, it's a little unfair to just complete them, uh, complete them, uh, compare them side by side because it's not a court case, right? Um, it's, it's, uh, it's an investigation case. So it's a little different, but at least we can compare it in terms of the investigation, the logic and how it lines up characters. So when I came into this ep episode, I was expecting, I was honestly expecting something worse. It wasn't good, but I honestly don't think it was as bad as I was led to believe it was. This is still better than Big Top for sure. Um, and then we have uh, the stupid, dragged out, convoluted concert case of Apollo Justice. So 4 3. 3 3 was the French uh, cafe case, which also sucked. Um, and then we have one three, which is probably the best of the three cases of the, the chapter three, episode three cases. Just in retrospect, you had a few, you had a, a few good things with, with case three that you didn't find elsewhere. The villain was actually pretty good. I thought the characters in general were pretty good, except for old bag what happened wasn't like outlandish. It just didn't. The problem with case three in the first game is it just wasn't as interesting as the, the, the rest of the cases besides the first case, but that was like the ultimate tutorial, right? Because the first game. Um, here, I'm not sure how, I don't think I'm going to be talking about it for that long, but let's add, just add some, background music while we're while we're waiting art what if there was an ace attorney game where you're just doing doc review that'd be the best for me <laughs> in terms of like my performance it'd be terrible for you guys in terms of like interest level though so yeah I, I honestly didn't dislike the case as much as I thought it would Lang's motivation is asinine and he said it's some incredibly stupid things but his general character's design and presence we're nice. Uh, it would be interesting. I assume we're going to meet him again. Um, because setting him up like that and then never showing him again would, would be weird. So maybe his character develops a bit and, and makes him a lot better. They start off pretty low, but with a good foundation. So that gives him a chance to really skyrocket if he can get his head out of his ass. Um... The characters were okay. I mean, they weren't like mind blowing or anything, but the the maid was cute. Um, Lance and his father. I did not see that turn coming from Mr. Amano. Makes him kind of sinister, which is adds a lot to his character. Did not expect that super big brain move from him. Now, would they have eventually got a warrant and have been able to search? Yeah. But I think his whole thing was he just wants to stall them so he could probably get rid of any further evidence. Which is still pretty big brain. Um, was not expecting that power move from him. 
Uh, K? K's, K was really cool. I like K a lot. Um, she really added freshness to the case. Seeing Emma was cool. Emma was a nice little. I, I don't. I think she's there a little more, a little too long to call it a cameo. But her like being able to insert her in there for you know an actual purpose was cool. Old bag actually wasn't. That's like the least annoying that old bag's ever been. Which is nice. The case logic itself. Not great, but also not the worst. One of the biggest, and, and forgive me, my brain isn't working too far back because it's so just, my, my head's just so like blah right now. But in terms of recent things that we noticed, one of the biggest plot holes that was, and it was mentioned earlier, and I thought the same thing was, they specifically mentioned the blueprints and then never actually utilized them which would have made that whole one part a lot easier. That was weird. Why even mention the blueprints then? It would have been better for us to not even think about the blue, like just assume we didn't have access to them than to mention them and then not use them. That was very strange. Um, the dynamic with, uh, Oliver Deacon was actually kind of cool how he was he's worked for Mr. Mono before was involved in something that caused him to go to jail but was able to come back and work under an assumed identity that Mr. Mono would hide him with so that he could stay close to his daughter and then there's the tragedy of well his daughter was she was there all along and yet he couldn't even you know that I thought that was a nice touch in terms of like adding some emotional resonance to like man you kind of feel bad for her right she loves this guy Turns out he's fucking her over. And then, oh, by the way, her father was there the entire time. And, oh, yeah, the guy that was fucking her over also killed her dad. I'd say that's emotional resonance. <sighs> now, see, I have not heard, heard the... I have actually heard uh, the theory more that he probably killed himself before he was ever convicted so that in theory at least he was there's never any anything factually on the record that he um did all that stuff for to in order to win those cases although he still lost the case he still lost that case regardless if he killed himself or not I think that makes sense, but that, as far as I know, that's all speculation, right? <laughs> well, hey, if you want, you can have me read it on stream. <laughs> That'll probably fucking... <laughs> he died of a... So what, he's just there? Just in prison till he rotted? Kill him in cold blood. No, yeah, if if I have no problem saying, man, I really like I really like the characters in X case. Cause quite honestly, that's not gonna sway me one way or the other. Because I might find them to be garbage. So I don't, you know, I I it's absolutely okay to make that sort of statement. Any helpful tips and tricks on that, if you, if any, you can provide? You're representing the state. Are you in the U.S.? All 
I mean, yeah, so, like, that's what it is, Mike. It's, like, I can feel it, like... Ugh, it feels awful. It's hugging my earlobes. You just want to make me look like that dude, right? <laughs> you just want to make me look like Ernest? <laughs> yeah, keep tugging them a little harder, a little harder. You want to stretch them as far as possible. Oh, I definitely think she had redeeming qualities. Unlike Von Karma, she was shown to, like, have a heart and weakness. Yeah, we'll move on to case four. I mean, the end of, uh... 2-4 showed that. That and, like, her interaction with, with Phoenix in 3-5 uh, and Pearls, like, I... Von Car Manfred could never have done that. Like, that never would have... You never would have been able to sell me that uh, Manfred would have done that. <laughs> so in that way, they can't be carbon copies. They have the same pride... Oh, but you're doing a trial from the States. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so keep in mind that as the state, is this a criminal trial? Or is it a, uh, like a pseudo civil trial? Where it's like you work for the state. I'm assuming, I'm, I'm gonna assume it's a criminal trial because I it would be odd for you guys to do a trial as corp counsel. That would be strange i i would think because it's a little more it's a little more straightforward to be uh the state in the uh district attorney's uh position <laughs> well that's the thing that's what makes it so difficult because Everything you say is kind of true. It just depends on what part of it is true. I give him pain. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're convicting an alleged murder. Okay, so uh, two basic things that you really have to know. You have to make sure that you are always cognizant of these things. One, you have a burden of proof that you must meet. Well, actually, let's take a step back. You are the party that must prove your case. They are innocent until they are proven guilty. So, like a lot of the ways they go about things in Ace Attorney, it won't work that way. Because you have to prove yourself. It's not suddenly all on the defense to have to prove their innocence. It's on you to prove them guilty. That might not seem like that big of a difference, but it really is. <laughs> Excuse me. God, I don't feel like shit. And building on that, you have a strong burden of proof that you have to meet. And that is reasonable doubt. You, the, the, the strongest burden of proof that must be met in order to convict someone of murder. Uh, no. Are, are you, is there just one charge or are you able to levy multiple charges? Like, <clears throat> say, um, in addition to attempted first or, or first degree intentional homicide, we are also charging him for uh, voluntary manslaughter or something like that. Because if you're doing that, then you have a second charge than which that you can argue the alternative in. Like, even if you don't believe he premeditatively did this murder on purpose, then at the very least... 
we can acknowledge that he definitely did it, but it might have even been out of passion or something like that, as opposed to something that he had been, you know, planning for a long time. Arguing in the alternative is a very important part of presenting a case because what you're trying to show is, hey, you know what? I believe this, but even if I'm not right here, this is still correct and it still basically gets us what we want. You always wanna make sure that you address the weaknesses of your own arguments. When you know there's a, there's a fault there, acknowledge the fault, but then attempt to show why the fault isn't really that damaging. Um, and in the same vein, acknowledge their, the strong points of their argument, but then again, attempt to show why, even if they were, they're true or mostly true, it's not damaging to your case in a significant way. Those are basic principles for arguing a case. A, uh, criminal case there's some other things about like procedure and stuff that I don't think you're really going to have to deal with so I'm not going to bother like suppression and stuff like that I, I don't it doesn't sound like that's going to be a part of what you're doing but in terms of like just how you're approaching things those will give you going about it that way will give you the strongest impression from the jury of confidence in what you believe. And that is how you are going to sway them. And we're back. This is the other reason I didn't want to start the case yet. I wanted to wait until after the drop because I knew it was going to be coming soon. Uh, it sounds like you kind of have that plan already set up, but consider what your arguments in the alternative are going to be. Because you kind of want to sprinkle them in as you're presenting your main case anyway so then when it's brought up later they're like oh yeah because you had already planted the seeds of that potential alternative um, outcome in their head No one could misunderstand because no one understands at all. <laughs> Unfortunately, you wouldn't be able to do that, though, because the if I'm the judge, just like, we need an interpreter in here. They force it to happen. So at that point, they'd understand. I have never been wrong. Gumshoe does have a better side profile than his front profile. Well, hold your horses. I got some people to address here and asking me questions. What the fuck were Trep and Amiro arguing about? Layton and Wright. That's not something that would happen until much later if I did. Oh yeah, it's not perpetually wearing thin. Now I just, I the it, the mods have complete autonomy now, whereas before that wasn't the case. Now I just say, hey, if you see something that should uh, warrant a timeout, you do it. I just, I give them full reign now. Yeah, Creature Soul, although, I, and I've said this before, it, it's it's like irritating to deal with, and that's how the system is, but at the same time, it does make for better gameplay, right?
Oh, that's why you guys were talking about Right and Layton. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's good to give him a warning there because I, I haven't been explicit about this. So let me be explicit about this. That's I think that's fair. At this time, I don't have any interest in playing Phoenix Wright versus Professor Layton. However, what'll make that interest less than zero is if shit gets spoiled for me. It is entirely possible that eventually I will want to play that game once we've gotten through all the main um, installments, right? The more I play all these games, the more I'd be like, you know, what? I just want to play it just for the hell of it. It's, it's entirely possible. But if it gets spoiled for me, I will tell you that in an instant, my I, I will not play it anymore. Like, I'll have no, no interest in playing it. <laughs> well, you're arguing about arguing. You guys would probably be pretty good attorneys. Yeah, good luck on your uh, on your mock trial. No, he's like, I look at him as like, he's that basketball player on the team that, that you want on the team because they work really hard and you know all they want to do is win. So you kind of put up with their mistakes that they'll make every once in a while and they're not especially talented. But when they come through, they really come through when you need them to. They did get his good side. I'd say that's his good side. Was that an insult or a compliment? I'll let you decide that. Is the Great Ace Attorney going to be 60 bucks too? I guess that makes sense. I just remember when I got the trilogy, I got it on sale for like 30, 25 or something like that. Hey. I am in love with Herlock Sholmes. But if you're talking about puns, I assume you're talking about some of the other names, which I don't I don't know any of the other names. And, and maybe maybe it wouldn't. Again, I give at this point I give my mods the uh the discretion to judge that on their own just because it's happened so often at this point and like a lot of the mods you see that are here now are specifically here for ace attorney stuff because i needed to do that because a lot of my or like a lot of my other mods don't have any experience with these games so they can't really help in that regard since i'm playing mortal shell is the uh shit hold on if i drop some frames just uh bear with me The titles, why did the title update, but then not the game? There we go. Thank you for the heads up. All right, we should be good now. Forty bucks. I mean, that might help you decide. If it's only forty bucks in Resident Evil Sixty, the twenty dollar difference might be a difference. I don't know what mystery room is. Like, I don't want to know anything about Ghost Trick, for example, because that's, it's not Phoenix Wright, but it's like a similar game that, investigation game that people want me to play. So I plan on doing that eventually. I don't know how to do that on Twitch. I mean, I don't. Uh, I don't know.
Hey, Isaiah, what's up? Um, hold on. Let me, uh... I can look in my dashboard real quick, but I have no idea how to change that in Twitch. I thought that was something that just happened automatically that Twitch did. <sighs> Run an ad break. Start a watch party. find and tell me how I'm supposed to do this then by all means but I don't see anything in my dashboard itself that would allow me to fix that issue yeah I would want to play if I'm gonna play a spin-off game from Layton that's just like a Layton sort of related universe thing then I'd want to play Layton before I did that because of the characters, right? <laughs> okay, Faraday, the young lady who calls herself the second Yatakarasu. The piece of cloth that she conjured up has taken me back to many years ago. Seven years earlier. Oh! No! No! I thought, I thought we'd avoid this! Yeah, that's right, I did it, I killed the guy. But it was the great thief y Yatagarasu who told me to do it! I asked the defendant, just what are you trying to say? Don't you get it? I'm the true identity of the- The Yatagarasu was the man standing over there at the prosecutor's bench! Are you saying that I'm the Yatagarasu? Don't you dare tonight! You told me to kill him when you snuck into the embassy! Are you claiming that Mr. Faraday is the Yatagarasu? Mr. Rio, I think I've... You've heard, um, Your Honor, please listen to me. I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. He's shitting on his own attorney? In accordance with the defendant's acu accusation, a new prosecutor shall be called to help shall be called to help to replace Mr. Faraday. This court will be in recess until the new prosecutor is ready. So the woman was his attorney. Mr. Faraday is the prosecutor. And oh, just because somebody said, hey, this per the prosecutor's the one who made me do it. The judge just goes, all right, we need a new prosecutor. No, that would not happen if you, if you are curious. You need a lot more evidence than just, it was him. He made me do it. Oh. Well, then we need a new prosecutor. Yeah, 
it is the judge. I was hoping we'd be able to get away going through this entire game without seeing the judge once. I didn't know what voices to give all these fucking new characters that just were there all of a sudden. Oh, we got the Von Karma Edgeworth going now. It's almost time for me to enter the courtroom. And so it is that my first assignment as a prosecutor will be as a replacement for a prosecutor who has been accused by the defendant. Edgeworth, sir. We're all waiting for this, right? Have you read over all the documents regarding this trial? Yes, sir. I've memorized everything there is to know. I love that there's a very subtle difference in Edgeworth's face that gives him several years of youth. Very subtle difference, but it's done very well. Even Von Karma looks younger. Return of the King. Front facing. <laughs> Von Karma's the fucking ugliest. Very good. The paperwork for the prosecutor substitution is just about complete. Edgeworth? Always bear in mind that your mentor, I, Manfred von Karma, slap will accept nothing short of perfection. I understand, sir. To have the chance to stand in court at such an early age in my career, I am honored and proud. As I have watched over your studies, I am giving you this very rare chance. Prove yourself Crush the defendant's pathetic lies into oblivion. Yes, sir. Well, that seemed a little much, but I mean, okay. That such a legendary prosecutor is watching over and judging my performance. I have to be perfect in every way. What the fuck are you doing? Get to it! <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Just one of those characters that kind of lives over. Man, I just cannot control my nose. The fuck is this guy doing? This is so good! I could drink a whole gallon! Never heard of water that tastes that good. Maybe I'll give him a minute. Does he plan on gulping an entire reservoir dry? Eh. Excuse me, ma'am, but is something the matter? I just thought someone would have brought hors d'oeuvres by now. Well, this is a corn house. It would be quite atypical to provide hors d'oeuvres here. Are you sure? Someone poured me a fresh cup of coffee last time I was here. What, does she, what the heck does she think a courthouse is for? Came here for my lunch. 
model on the corner. So it's pretty well constructed. Hands on his face? Don't tell me this thing transforms. Yet I wonder for what other purpose could they have been made? Aren't these great? Aren't they winning, son? Daddy made all of these. Awesome! But you didn't get fired right after- But did you get fired right after you made them? Ha! <laughs> Yeah, I did. <laughs> Golly gee willikers, that sure was unfortunate. Spent the same amount of money on this model as it cost to build the real thing. My boss wasn't very happy with me. <laughs> hey, Daddy, didn't you say you built a secret mechanism inside of it? <laughs> Let me I'll tell you about it someday when you're older. The fuck is it that he can't... <laughs> he has to be more mature about it. Secret mechanism? Maybe install it as payback for getting fired? It could be trouble. Now I'm curious. Charlie. Horse ovaries? <laughs> pronounced whores do vovers. <laughs> I hope you're right. I hope you're not lying. Yeah, he's not a water enjoyer. The pH level of this tap water is just a bit too low for me. Oh, because I'm not going upstairs to get a shirt to put on to go with the suit. This is as much suiting up as we shall do. A bulletin board. There are trial schedules schedules posted on it. Trials said scheduled for this week. Huh? There's only today's trial listed. This must be a mistake, or this country's judicial system is not working as it should. There should be more trials here! There's a lot of plea agreements. It seems like the judicial system's working as it should. The secret message mechanism is a giant horse twofers. <laughs> any other place to examine. The luxurious and beautiful leather sofa. Call that luxurious. I must say, every part of this courthouse is meticulously well kept. Although the positioning of this sofa puts one under the direct gaze of the judges. Every judge in this courthouse's history has quite the beard. And his gallantry parted with their- wait. And has gallantry parted with their beloved head of hair, I see. Gallantly- oh my god, I can't read. And has gallantly parted with their beloved head of hair, I see. This must be before the Canadian judge, uh, came about, because he still had hair. Being a judge must be a very stressful career. A bookshelf, huh? Compendium of Laws for Beginners. I don't have the time to read this and second-guess myself now. Trials should have ended in just one minute. 
because the defendant was picked up by the security camera, correct? Exactly. The killer had the gall to say he, that he, had, he only killed because he was instructed to do so. Even more outrageous is his claim that the ca case prosecutor, Byrne Faraday, is that right? No, Bime. Bime? Bin? Bim Faraday gave the order. Ha! Huh, Faraday is such a fool. He's been cornered by his very own prey. Sir, are you an acquaintance of Mr. Bim Faraday? He is a pathetic man who speaks nothing but nonsense. Nonsense? He once tried to explain to me a way of punishing those who cannot be brought to court. Those who cannot be brought to court? That is nonsense, for no man is above the law. Well, there are always a few exceptions. However, there is no reason to even deal with such individuals. A prosecutor is a guardian of the court, one with no obligation to outside matters. Thus, there is no reason to deal with such individuals, I see. Edgeworth, disgracing yourself as Faraday has will not be forgiven. Uh, have no fear, I will not let you down, sir. In place of this accused prosecutor, Bim Faraday, I'll prove the defendant's guilt. Very good! I've secured an hour of recess for you to prepare to do just that. That is not nearly enough time. Slap! Show them all! The power of Von Karma! Probably Hank. <laughs> it's not Bime, it's Bime. Is it an R? I can't fucking see. I thought it was an R, and then I thought I looked closer and saw that it was an M, and I'm like, that's an M, and now it's an R again. I don't know. Burn Faraday. Burn Faraday. Google Translate it, Mike. <laughs> I would assume if it's spelled like with an R and E, then it'd be pronounced burn. That's why that was my first guess, right? I just remember that somebody asked me about red white earlier. I know we've had discussions about red white. But I and people have tried to explain what was supposed to be going on, but I'm still not convinced based on the wording of what happened that they're correct. Or at least they're not correct in so far as the game did not present it well. There might be an actual canon behind it, but whatever the canon is behind the game, the game itself presented it poorly at best in that circumstance um but we could we're gonna be back for the next stream we could probably talk it talk about it a little more um uh, god words fail me in a little bit more detail when we have like one of our one of our breaks the other thing I feel like I should remind people. It's not really backseating per se, because you're not telling me, hey, do this in order to pro pro progress the plot. So it's not just more of like, like, hey, is an Easter egg of whatever, and if you go across the bridge, oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> we don't need more than one person to suggest showing Von Karma the badge. The more it is suggested, I'm going to 
tell you the way I work is that the more it's suggested, the less likely I am to actually do it, just out of spite, because I'm a petty person. Hit once, that's it. There were several, several people doing it, so I'm not pointing anybody out specifically. Just, that's how I go about things. Just so that everybody knows. I show Miles his own badge in case he forgot his job. I did see just because if, let's put it this way. If you see someone else also saying it, I probably did see it. I just don't acknowledge everything that I see. He probably did, Mike. That would be really funny. Have Edworth be Dr. Wiley's prosecutor. Hey, Tom, what's up, dude? I did. I must have. I must have just failed to consider that I should be presenting him the badge. And it's thanks to you that I have finally become a prosecutor, sir. It's amusing that you wanted to become a defense attorney, yet become my student. What a fool. <laughs> it was a strange path you have traveled. It's true that I had once wanted to become a defense attorney, but now I am honored and proud to be a prosecutor. I see. Then as a student of mine, I suggest you remember this well. The prosecutor's badge, it is not to be flaunted. The dignity of a prosecutor lies in the man himself, not in the badge. I understand. I will keep that in mind. Besides, why put holes in your fine garments? It's simply preposterous. Prosecutors must also take pride in their appearance. I will keep this in mind as well. I'm constantly having to remind the others at the prosecutor's office of this. It's more fashionable to keep your prosecutor's badge in your pocket. In other words, always treat a prosecutor's badge with care and honor? I understand, sir. So there's some backstory as to why he keeps it in his pocket. And let me just fucking say, I agree with him 100 damn percent. Don't put fucking holes in your suits with a dumbass badge. You need to show it to somebody. Here you go. Here, here, here's a, I don't need to fucking put it right here. It's so gaudy and unnecessary. I think the badge is very tacky. But maybe I'm just jealous that I don't have a badge. That's entirely possible. We have cards that we just keep in. I mean, <laughs> and let's be honest. If you're going to keep a badge and pin it somewhere, what you do, you take your, this pocket right here, and you pin it in there, like right here. So they can be like, oh yeah, well, I have this badge. And you can be like, well, I have the attorney's badge. And then you're the Pokemon master. They're not gonna beat the prosecutor's badge or the attorney's badge. Just, they're not, you win, you win. Gary Oak could have 16 badges, it's not gonna matter. He doesn't have the prosecutor's badge, he ain't shit. with a lapel hole. I mean, that's good. But yeah, I still don't, I, I don't use them either. I used it for one thing. Oh, what the hell was that? I think it's because we had to, we had to pin something to show that we were like, it was okay for us to be there instead of having to constantly like, take it out, take it out, take it out. <laughs> Smell you later, right? God. Were 
I am Gary Oath. You cannot ignore my girth. Ancient memes. That's a that's a fun, really old meme. If you guys want to look up Gary Oak, and you can't ignore my girth. I mean, it seems like every time Manfred goes into the courtroom, he's putting everyone there on trial. I'm surprised he didn't argue fashion with uh, Phoenix. The prosecutor's badge is a lot cooler than Phoenix's badge. Although I will say, I do like the I like the simplicity of Phoenix's badge. I just wouldn't wear it. Like, I'm gonna get it from cosplay, obviously. If I was actually in court, I wouldn't wear it on my suit. Yeah, just put it in your skin. Am I feeling any better? No. And in fact, now every time I talk, my ears are like popping. I think it's definitely like sinus fluid related. I'll pro. I. I Based on how it's draining right now, I do think I will feel better tomorrow. However, then at 3 p.m. I go get my second va vaccine shot, so I'll go back to feeling like shit immediately. I am Miles Edge, and you can't ignore my worth. You guys know I don't do this often, but you get a congratulations for that. Wow. That is fantastic. The suspension of Umbrella Corporation's business rights and the federalization of its that, that would be amazing. Yes, please. Resident Evil 9. The court case of the Umbrella Corporation. So, have you achieved a firm understanding of the case? Yes, sir. I have memorized everything that is written down on the case files in mere minutes, some somehow. Well, then explain the case to me. I want to see if you really know what you are talking about. Understood. He better do it for me, then. Murder was committed on September 8th in front of the Kodopian Embassy. What? The victim, Mr. Dead Man. Just like, we don't know. Just fucking. Coming down on the Coat Red Raid. Uh, let's see. Raya Riha? Bully McGuire? Bro Wash? Bendy Ink Demon? And Code Red. How's it going? 
what uh, were you doing this fine day over on your channel? Dead man did summon the raid. Cody, thank you for coming to another raid. Oh, Resident Evil Village? Hey, we were just talking about if Resident Evil 9 was a court case against Umbrella. <laughs> How are you enjoying it so far? It seems to be getting quite a lot of good publicity. Uh, Lugia, can you grab, uh, Kared's, um, channel link for me and post? Or Magic Dog, one of the, one of two. Apparently Chris's back hurts, so I don't want to have him go and lugging the link around. Probably throw it out. Yeah, this music is pretty cool. Do you have like a, uh, a, like a deep history with uh, Resident Evil, or is this like one of your first games? I still have to play seven. I've played one through six in Code Veronica, and what was the one for the Wii? Or two for the Wii, right? Z wasn't it one zero? One was zero, and the other one was. Something Chronicles, maybe? Not, no, not Chronicles. I'm thinking of Code Veronica. Maybe it was Chronicles. Anyways, I had only played one. Did not play the other. Or seven or eight. Oh, I need to give great credit. Uh, so, for everyone new and on the Code Red raid, my name is Twain. I'm one of four people on this channel. I'm going to be your primary streamer for your students of gaming experience. Uh, I'm a, uh, an attorney licensed to practice in the state of Wisconsin and federally. Across all jurisdictions. We are playing the... Uh, one of the spin-offs of the Ace Attorney franchise. This being Ace Attorney's Investigations, the first of two games, with the main character being Miles Head. Hey, easy, thank you for the host, dude. My dad being an asshole when I was five and scaring the shit out of me by making me play it with him. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. I was scared shitless of two, and I was like 12. God. Damn it, Brandon G. Baker. This is your first one, you want to play them all now? Yeah. If it's that good, that makes sense then. You're like, man, is all that good? Although I w would really recommend, based on what I uh, have seen of the gameplay so far, is play the remakes <laughs> and not the old versions. And then only go to the old versions if you're like really hardcore and want to go for it. Because they play significantly different than the remakes do. The remakes are closer to what you you would experience in seven and eight. I mean, they do. Resident Evil Two, the original, is still my favorite Resident Evil. I didn't think RE3, the original, was. Yeah, it was. It, I felt like RE3 Nemesis was just an extension, like an expansion pack of two. It's kind of what the remake felt like. 
you were negative eight. When did RE2 uh, get released? Is it 98 or was it 97? The victim, Mr. Deadman, was a staff member at the embassy. The defendant in this case, Mr. Mackerel. Was held for questioning the night of the incident as he was deemed suspicious. He was quickly placed under arrest for possession of the murder weapon, a gun. Furthermore, at the time of the murder, the great thief Yata Garasu had successfully infiltrated the Kuropian embassy as well. At first, Rao claimed that he himself was the Yata Garasu. But then he did not kill dead men. I wonder what he expected to gain from such a desperate lie. It's possible that he wants to go down while in the spotlight if he is found guilty. There truly is no limit to people's inanity. But I digress. Continue, Edward. Yes, sir. During the trial, the prosecution presented the security footage that captured the murder. The footage clearly showed Mr. Rell as the murderer. The act of Mr. Rell firing the gun could be clearly seen from the visitor's gallery. Upon seeing that, the defendant retracted his statement and admitted to the murder. I did it because I was told to, by the real Yatagarasu, Burn Faraday. As though somehow that makes him not a murderer. Yeah, exactly. You still shot and killed somebody. How does that... But I was told to gonna hold up when it comes to your charges. My sinuses are fucking with me. Really bad. But we'll power through. That sounds about right. However, you've forgotten one thing. Well, this may appear to be simply the murder of a Kenobian Embassy staff member, people are actually referring to it as the second KG-8 incident. The second KG-8 incident? I'm very sorry, sir. I feel I've failed to study hard enough. Hmm. Well, even among the police, it's information that only a select few are privy to. Could you please enlighten me, sir? Sir, what do you mean by the second KG-8 is Wouldn't it be the second- the KG-8 too? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. In order for me to tell you that, you must first learn about the original case. Take a look at these documents. This is a three-year-old newspaper. You have heard of the Amano Group scandal before, correct? Yes, I have. The secretary of Ernest Amano, the Amano Group's director, was arrested under suspicion of smuggling. Correct! CCU. <laughs> CCU was a member of the Amano Group and the sole witness to the smuggling operation. It was she who brought this cri crime to light. However, Miss Yu was silenced before she could testify in court. Wasn't a Kenobian embassy staff member arrested for the murder? Yes, a Kenobian by the name of Manny Cochin was the suspect. However, due to the lack of evidence, the case went unresolved. 
Lack of evidence? Ha! Only I was in charge of the case. I would have done everything in my power to prove his guilt. To make sure that all criminals are found guilty, my mentor really is dedicated. Third day? Was the prosecutor on the case then, and he was as pathetic as ever. Mr. Faraday was in charge of the KG-8 incident as well? That's right. And now, once again, the victim of the case you are currently assigned to was someone who was scheduled to testify against that smuggling organization. <sighs> and just like last time, the victim was murdered right before he was to testify. You're catching on! The victim was murdered just before his day in court against the smuggling organization. Events are occurring almost exactly the way as they did in the KG-8 incident. That's why it's being called the second KG-8 incident. Yes. Yet there is one difference between the two incidents. What would that be? The so-called noble thief that is sending everyone into an uproar. The great thief Yatagarasu. Yatagarasu, I better find out more. It is true that the Yatsukarasu showed up at the Kanopian Embassy. What could he or she have been after? Oof. No doubt to steal a suspicious accounting... No, no doubt to steal any suspicious accounting records and release them, them publicly. Or more likely to steal secrets from the Kanopian Embassy itself. Since the item that the Yatsukarasu stole from there was sent to the police. What was it that the Yatsukarasu sent to the police? Don't know the details. Anything related to the Yatagarasu is getting the top secret treatment. Still, I found it very ironic. By returning the stolen item to the police, it was proved positive that the Yatagarasu had infiltrated the embassy on the same day the staff member was killed. Criminals have a way of incriminating themselves, wouldn't you say? <sighs> that would have to be the first time the Yatagarasu has left evidence behind, correct? Yes, indeed. If you wish to learn more about the Yatagarasu, then I suggest you ask Faraday or your local library. Mr. Faraday? He happens to be the prosecutor in charge of the Yatagarasu case as well. Is the prosecutor in charge of both the KG-8 incident and the Yatagarasu case? Mr. Faraday really has a lot on his plate. What is it, little girl? It's scary, mister! Did you need something? Um, I want to trade these coins with you! A fistful of dimes, quarters, and pennies, but it looks like you're exactly- like you've exactly a dollar. Is this what you want? Thanks! That's exactly what I needed! Can that child be here to watch the trial? How disrespectful for a child like that to be running around inside the courthouse! Does no one have respect for this country's judicial system anymore? Ah, the paperwork for the prosecutor's sub substitution is complete. Why, you? Do you even know how much time there is left before the trial resumes? I... I'm so sorry, sir. I can have you mopping up this courthouse instead of protecting it in an instant! It's no bother, sir. Not being completely prepared could prove to be a perfect handicap for me. Oof, a proud one you are! <laughs> yes! Yes! I was waiting for them to do it to each other! <laughs> Perfection. Oh my god, that was more satisfying than I thought it would be. <sighs> like, dude, he does the same, same fucking pose. They better do that pose to each other at some point. They better fucking do that pose to each other at some point. <sighs> hmm, a proud one you are. You had better collect the evidence from Faraday and prepare yourself. It's time for your debut, Edgeworth. So this would make 
Francisco, what, like six? Yeah, I like how the game tried to like, they, they, they like did it, but slickly, and they tried to put like put it under the radar by just having the sprites do it instead of like the two, like the two portraits, which would have been more obvious. Oh right. Duh. I'm I'm stupid. She was cause she was nineteen or twenty, right? When we when we meet her, and this is yeah, yeah. So this is like just when she was becoming a prosecutor in Germany, right? Duh. Why would she, what, stolen? Because she wants to be a thief? I get what he's saying. I just don't think that's what she was going for. All right. We're going to save here. We're going to end for the night. Three hours. I know that's not super long. I'll try to get an extra hour in Tuesday, but I just, I can't. I have to. Every time... I make noise. My ear is popping. It's pissing me off. Need to let this shit drain. Sleep. Wake up tomorrow. Get my vaccine. Deal with the consequences. Wake up the next day feeling better and ready to stream and do other work. So, apologize for ending early, but I absolutely have to fucking. Just take care of whatever's going on right now. Uh, I owe credits for 40 and 50. Or 40 and 45. Well, yeah. All right, everyone. I appreciate I appreciate your understanding. I do. I hate to cut it short on you guys because I'd like to go to another hour. This is all very interesting, and I want to see what happens. But the more the night goes on, the more my brain's just like. Ugh. So, uh, thank you to Acme and Code Red for the raids. Much appreciated. Thank you to Infernal Disdain for becoming the newest member of the student body, as well as the seven dollar dono. And uh, all the other re-ups we had today. So yeah, uh, I'll be back Tuesday though. If if the side effects are still lingering past Monday into Tuesday, I will be sure to make a a YouTube community post about it. Because I know I didn't make a community post about uh, pushing last night's stream off to today. But I will for sure do that. If I can't stream on Tuesday, otherwise you will see the event posted. I think I'll have a pretty good idea early on um, of what my Tuesday is going to be like. So but right now, that's going to be the plan. So hope to see you all there. You guys have a good one. In the stream credits. And uh, yeah, so see you guys then. Blood running from your head down to a different part of your body. <laughs> Three gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist. Red ass neck. Red ass neck. Holy shit! Don't move the bullets! Don't move the bullets! What would you say in this situation? Girl has a red ass neck. She has a red ass neck, like. Rupert's like, yo, girl, you got a red ass neck. <laughs> <laughs> you need some lotion? Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's not like... Oh, yeah, I can't do it. All right, let's, let's, yeah, let's get to the point. Let's get to this. Dude, we can yeah. figure this shit out. Let's hold the fucking punches.
Let's look at the book here. The prolific inventor. Thomas Edison. 